Hi guys, this is Rusty78609. It is Thursday and I've got my internet hooked up, but that's not what I'm going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about is a comment made by Karen Holly uh, on the 23rd, I think, and it was on mail call. And uh, I'm going to respond to her comment because I couldn't, I can't type it all in. And since she left the comment, well, possibly some of you others might have similar questions, so I can respond to that and maybe answer a multitude of questions. Anyway, Karen says, Rusty, at what point do you need to cover, your cover the tires on your travel trailer for a long-term stay? Uh, well, if it were me, uh, if I were going to be in a RV park where the sun is shining directly on my tires, uh, then I would probably just go ahead and cover them right away uh, as I, soon after I arrived at the RV park. Uh, fortunately, I'm kind of in a unique situation here in that there's a building to my right so that the sun never shines on that tire over there. And since east is this way and my, uh, that way, and my trailer is parked this way, uh, this tire on the, on the other side is, is rarely in the sunlight either and I park my pickup this way and so when the sun's setting in the west uh, that tire is still not exposed to the sunlight maybe for an hour a day or less and this one over here zero so you know I don't need covers on my tires right now because it just so happened I got a spot that is protected from the sunlight but if I was in an RV park and I had two tires or you know, the sun setting right over the RV and both sets were going to be exposed to direct sunlight in New Mexico or Texas or anywhere else, I would go ahead and cover them because you can buy the wheel covers relatively inexpensive. But remember when you buy the wheel covers that it goes by the diameter of the tire. So you'll have to measure the diameter to be sure you get one that'll fit. Uh, so check that out. That's answer number one. Uh, do you, and then number two says, do you periodically check the tire pressure of your travel trailer tires? Yes. Uh, when I'm traveling, when I'm towing. Now when I'm parked, I don't worry about it at all until I get ready to move to another location. So for the next two months or so, I won't check them at all because there's jacks down and stabilizers to take the uh, weight off the tires. So that's not a problem. But if you're going to be traveling say every three or four days or whatever yeah it's a good idea it doesn't take but a second to check the tires because you may have run over something and you have a slow leak and uh, yeah you don't want to have a flat particularly when you've only got two tires I've got a single axle RV and that would be not good okay so yes I do uh, if I'm traveling I do check them uh, periodically and periodically means before I leave on any trip I check the tires and also check the lug nuts too. If they need air, what do you do? I know you have that 12 volt portable tire inflator, but does it work well? Well, it works as good as any of them, I think. Uh, it's okay, it's just slow as mud, but it will, uh, after about 20 minutes, air a tire. But what I have to do if I'm not in an RV park where there's a 110 outlet or 120, whatever it happens to be, uh, what I have to do is get my inverter hooked up to my AGM battery and then plug my uh, 12 or my my, my uh, air pump is actually 110 it's not 12 volt but it will run off when I plug it into my inverter that's connected to my AGM battery uh, that will run the pump and eventually air the tire so that's how that works she says, I have used a bicycle pump for a flat tire, vehicle flat tire. Wow. Well, that, that would take forever. But, yeah, if you can get enough air in it to get to a service station with a bicycle pump, that's awesome. But, yeah, so that's the answer to your three basic questions. And then she has one more. It says, also, does Smoky RV Park have a requirement that you underpin your travel trailer for a long-term stay? There's no requirement like that that I know of here, and I don't think any of the RVs are quote, underpinned. I guess what you mean is secured to the ground or whatever, or, or oh, I know what you may, or maybe you mean the, uh, you know, go, the the stuff on the sides.
to just make it look a little prettier. There's no requirement here like that, nor have I ever stayed in an RV park uh, that had it. Of course, I, I have not stayed in RV parks for an extended term either. Uh, well, I, I've stayed as long as three or four months, but uh, as far as years at a time, no. I guess if you're an annual visitor, uh, they may have a requirement, but they don't have one here that I know of, Karen, and thank you very much for your comment, and I hope that answers your question. And this will be posted tomorrow or whenever I can. But anyway, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, by, from your man in Capitan. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, by anything your little heart desires. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my video. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, and uh, it helps out. So for those of you that have used the link and are using it, thank you very much. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day is almost mandatory out here in this dry, dry, dry climate. Humidity right now is about 10%, and that's not unusual. And what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure, and that's really good for you. What else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Walk, 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 do all that stuff. I've done my walking and stretches this morning, but this afternoon I'll do some stretching and walking again. Why? Because it's, the weather's nice. If I was at my home base in Central Texas, the humidity would be high, the temperature would be high, and I would not do it. I would do my stretches, but no more walking, unless I went to Walmart or something. But anyway, guys, uh, I would also stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Ned or negative Nancy or negative Ned get in your head. It's yours, protect it. But anyway, guys, enjoy your life one day at a time. Uh, thank you for your comment, Karen. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. <laughs>